Hey Vinyl community and YouTubers in general, it's been a little while since I've talked about LP purchases or LPs that I've gotten a hold of in other ways, like through trades. So I thought I would uh, catch up a little bit. And I don't think there are any duplicates in, in here. Um, it's been so long that I haven't been able to really keep track and I'm too lazy to go back and look through my videos. So anyway, here we go. Let's start with the trades. I ended up with two copies of Kenny Wheeler's Dear One. Uh, it's on ECM. Really, really good LP. And I worked out a trade with Garner Andrews, who ended up with two of these, Everhard Weber. And uh, so we did the trade, and I think I got a much better uh, deal than he did because he threw in this John Abercrombie, which is awesome because I like John Abercrombie a lot. And it also has uh, Jack DeJanette, who is pretty much my favorite drummer. It's got Jan Hammer on it too. This album is, uh, it's as fusion-y as fusion can be in a good way. So I really dug it. I listened to it in my headphones. I have some new headphones. I'll, maybe I'll do a video uh, on those at some point. And uh, the Eberhard Weber is pretty much exactly what I expected. Totally his bass tone, uh, totally the sound I'm used to, and uh, so both very enjoyable. It was an awesome trade, and, and thanks, uh, Garner, especially for throwing this in. That was a very nice surprise. And here are a couple of new purchases. Uh, I, I keep a wish list on um, acoustic sounds, so when I want to buy something new, I just go out there and I'll grab a couple things off my uh, wish list. So one of the items that was on my wish list was this West Montgomery. And I uh, got interested in West Montgomery because I've liked Pat Metheny for a very, very long time. Pat Metheny credits West Montgomery with uh, inspiring him. And so uh, I've got a couple of CDs of his and uh, I've been kind of wanting this one on vinyl. This is good, it's a live recording. It's got a little bit of the sort of split um, balance going on, so you know the instruments tend to be hard panned left and right. It's not horrible, and it's a little surprising for a live recording, but it does have that attribute. Still, really good stuff if you like uh, jazz guitar, and Wes Montgomery is one of the greats. The other one is the Stanley Turrentine. You gotta love this album cover. Uh, this is also very, very fusiony, sort of um, maybe a R&B or soul fusion kind of thing going on. This is an awesome album. I can totally recommend it. It also has a little bit of that hard panned uh, mixing thing going on, but man, is it good. So you might want to check this one out. This one, a live mother for you, is uh, Billy Cobham, Steve Kahn, Alfonso Johnson, Tom Scott. I got turned on to this by another vinyl community guy. Uh, and can I remember his username right now? No, I can't. Uh, he's from the UK, I know that much. And uh, he's the guy that pretty much just sits there and plays stuff, which is awesome. So I really liked the sound of this on his video and I'll, I'll sort of put in a, one of those balloon things right here with his name. Thanks for turning me on to this mystery YouTube guy. And uh, I enjoy it a lot. I found this one on eBay. Oh, now for a couple of local used buys. One is Keith Jarrett, Shades, which has what I consider to be the ugliest album cover in, in all of Keith Jarrett's albums. I don't know why, it just doesn't go. It's just wrong. Anyway, this, this album is very, um, very much like the other ones from this period with his American Quartet. Uh, it's got that kind of slightly world music-y edge to it, but um, good stuff. Uh, the sound on this one's pretty good. This is on Impulse, like a lot of them are. Uh, some of the Impulses can sound kind of crappy. This one sounds pretty good. Again, I listen to this in my headphones. So uh, I don't know what, the, what it sounds like in the room. Uh, good purchase if you're a Keith Jarrett fan. And this also, this is an ECM that I picked up, used. And the price was right. I think it was three bucks or something. It's a double um, kind of various artists. So it uh, has introduced me 
to a couple of possibilities from the ECM catalog that I wasn't really aware of. So you might want to check this one out. It looks like they, uh, it's volume one. I haven't done any research. I don't know if there's volumes three, two, four, seven, whatever. Uh, but if you see this used, you might want to pick it up. A couple of uh, eBay purchases. Survivor Suite. You know, I got so many Keith Jarrett's all at once, I could have confused Survivor Suite with Shades. I'm not sure. I've listened to them, but I've listened to them at night before I go to bed in headphones. I'm not keeping them straight. I'll just say again, the albums from this quartet in this time period are very similar to one another, in my opinion, and that's not a bad thing. It's a, a different sound from all of his other stuff, but they have a cohesiveness that's pretty cool. And this, I remember liking this. Basically, I remember my impression, uh, and, and that's really what matters. So uh, this one's good to check out, too. I think this is kind of considered one of his classics, and uh, uh, I would recommend it. And this, for once, an eBay seller who like totally represented the condition of the album perfectly. It is really nice. Uh, and then the Cone Concert, which um, I've been wanting to get for a long time and found this on eBay. And again, it's in pretty good shape. The cover's not the best, but I don't care about covers. I care about the quality of the vinyl, and the vinyl's real good on this. Yeah, it's in really nice shape. So another good eBay purchase. And yet another e eBay purchase. Uh, solo concerts. This is a triple album. And like I said, I've bought so many of these at once. I've kind of listened to each side once and then moved on. So this one strikes me very much like the Cone concert. It's a solo improvisational deal. Uh, sound is good and these uh, the cover that is, is not the best on this one. But like I said, I don't really care about that. The vinyl on this pretty much meant if you can find this inexpensively, it's uh, it's a good purchase to go for. All right, so that is, I guess, an overview of the vinyl I've bought in the last couple of months. I'll catch you later.